Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can take a 3D image and turn it into a mock time lapse so you can measure the different statistics across the different planes. So the first thing you can see here is that I have a 3D image and what I need to do to turn this into a mock time lapse so I can separate those different Z planes is to go to image processing and then select swap time and Z. This will swap the Z dimension into a, a time series. And as you, you can see here, as I slide through the different time points, it's actually sliding through the different Z planes. I can now take this image, this mock time lapse, and measure all sorts of different things. So I can make surfaces or spots or any use any of the other modules in Amaris and create objects that I can then generate statistics from. Or if I just want to measure the signal intensity across these different time points, or rather the different Z planes, I can do that here in the volume option by selecting selecting statistics and then measuring the different intensity statistics that are available. And so if I did wanted to do the intensity mean of the blue channel across the different Z planes, I can just select this specific statistic for channel two, and you can see that it exports intensity mean and how that changes across those different Z planes over the mock time lapse. And I can export this using the different export options in Amaris. Now to go back a step, if I wanted to take this Z series, or this 3D data set, and instead of slicing through the traditional Z planes, if I instead wanted to go through these different planes, so not using my, my Z plane, but using one of the other planes, I would first need to rotate my image and reset where Amaris is treating as the origin. And so to do that, I'll go to image processing and select rotate. And so this is going to be dependent upon what kind of rotation you need to do. But for this data set, I'm going to do a, a Y axis counterclockwise rotation. And you can see here, even when I select reset, this is now the correct orientation and I can see what the different Z slices are here. So they're totally different than what I had created previously. I can then do the same process by going to image processing and then swap time and Z. So now I have a different mock time lapse that goes through a different planes of the actual capture. And I can still measure those same statistics that I measured previously. If your image isn't perfectly you know, aligned to the different place um, planes, you can do free rotate instead of just rotating automatically. And so this free rotate option here allows you to either type in the values or manually move your image to create the specific rotation that needs to be done so you can create that mock, mock time lapse exactly as it needs to be. So you can either manually type those values in here, or you can just move the actual image itself and select apply, hit OK. And then you can see that I now have this as my different slices that are going through and can use that as the Z stack that I'm going to swap with the time. And so those are just a few different options for how you can look at the, the images using this mock time lapse to actually based on the Z series that you have. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Thanks.